Hi guys, Sean here. Um, this is um, Little Things Part 2, I'd say. Um, I kind of ran out of room on the last one. So, um, yeah, Part 2, here we come. Okay, well, I don't know whether you can actually read that label through from the other side. Um, as you can tell, it's I can see the word bitey from here, so orange bitey thing. This is the Tanzania. Um, I have just seen it, it is in here. So we're going to give it another little new one and see what it does. And there we go. Hello. I think what their appetite is like. Gee. Maybe we'll get it. It might be too big for him. I don't know. We shall see. We'll see if it moves. There we go. What a lovely kid. A little bit difficult to see this one, but uh, we'll give it another go. We'll give it a go, I should I say. Um, another Terranogus Mirinus, Usambara. Right, so now I should bring this over because otherwise I'm going to miss the thing. There we go. So lovely to watch them feed. The way they creep up on them is. I love it, absolutely love it. And back he goes. So that's a jar is darlingy. Rear horn for them. Um, did about a week ago, if not a little bit more. Let's see if it's going to be interested. And I say that's a yes. I didn't even have time to grab the camera. Um, we'll see if we can get a nice little shot of it. Look, there we go. Uh, this is the, uh, the little one that all I've got to uh, describe it is the letter CDY, as you can see on the, on the cap there. So I am still thinking it's um, Heliobrachus discolus. I could still be wrong, um, but we shall see what it's going to eat. It's going to eat, and am I going to grab it? Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry, guys, I didn't grab <laughs> See, any problem with these things being so quick, I suppose? Um is in there it's facing us quite nicely yeah so i'm, I'm hoping it's the discless which i believe is sorry guys i forgot to actually start the video <laughs> um i hope i didn't do it on the rest one uh this is the complete unknown i believe it very well could be the um Helibrachus cancrachan or cane kraken, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is deep down in the burrow at the moment. It's not webbed up or anything. Um, I haven't seen any. Well, I saw it before um, I started filming, but I don't know whether anything's going to come up. Um, just want to try and make sure that this mealworm isn't on it. I was just making sure the mealworm wasn't actually going into the soil. That's the last thing I want. Try and dig it out. So, yeah, yeah you hadn't missed anything. Um, I 
don't think it's been caught yet. And that's just mealworm falling about. Well, sorry about that, I missed the actual attack. Um, but um, yeah, it has got it, it has fed. Um, they do have quite, whatever this is, is it's a little beast. It will take down fair sized prey. So as I said, I'm, I'm hoping it's a um, cane kraken, but we shall see. Just let it get a bit more size, I suppose. Hey, just about see the legs moving around now. Um, this is the uh, uh, Pilugardi, of course it is. Tyranocles Ugardi. Um, there is a, it's the first time I've ever actually had mould in any of my enclosures. It's not from something I've done, it's from the um, substrate that came with the tea itself. Um, so it does need um, a rehouse. Um, and if it doesn't eat at the minute, then I may well be doing that next week. Bring the camera over one moment. And the mealworm has decided to stop. I think we might be getting. Are you going to have it or not? I don't know if it's going to. I wish it would hurry up and make up its mind because it's really difficult holding this camera. <laughs> Look, don't play with your food. Either eat it or don't. I think I may come back to this one in a second and see what it's doing. Well, it didn't want the one that was in there. Um, I put in a slightly smaller one for it and it grabbed it straight away and has retreated. Um, so I've got the other one out, but it has eaten. Little Pilugardi, four whole baboon. My last one, my absolutely unknown bracket. Going to see what goes on. I'm probably going to. There she comes. Oh, it's a herbal. Give me a chance, will you? I do apologise, but as you can see, it's down at the bottom. It's got its mealworm. And that's about it. Well, as always, thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, um, good to have you with me. My little Nandu chromatus sitting out there. Um, yeah, give us a like, do subscribe, um, do appreciate it. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed uh, my my little feeding of my little teas. Um, I'm planning. Um, I've been asked to do uh, a a little video on my hamoris, and I'm planning on doing one on um, my fanapelmas. Uh, not that I've got anything that anybody else has got anything different of, but it might be nice to see the different ones I've got. Um, if that kind of thing appeals to you, do let us know in the comments below, um, and I'll get them get them sorted. Um, anyway, as it is, thanks for watching. Do subscribe, do like, and keep crawling.